Hello everyone, this is Charles1198 and I'm coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about building a survival kit on the cheap. Uh, everything you see on the table here costs probably two or three dollars uh, total. Uh, the book I have here is by James Ballou and it's uh, The Poor Man's Wilderness Survival Kit Assembling Your Emergency Gear for Little or No Money. Uh, this is a really good book. This was given to me by a friend. Thanks, Sean. Uh, and I've attempted to kind of make my own little kit here based on some of the principles in this book. So the first thing I started with was a pot. Uh, I got this at a yard sale, and I think it was a dollar. Uh, really nice pot, probably from, you know, from the 70s. It's got the avocado green. Uh, it's a really heavy-duty pot. It's not going to crush in your pack. Uh, the handle screws off the lid uh, but you can use the lid as a plate too because there's no exposed screw head or any place for things to leak out uh, what I put in here was an almond can uh, I know some ultralight backpackers that use these to boil their water in uh, I decided to repurpose this one and use it as a cup and I uh, cut off the rim and put a little uh, silicone bracelet on it uh, to kind of act as a lip ring and inside I just have a little piece of a sponge I cut off with a little scrubby so there's the pot uh, for a blade I decided to use a small little paring knife that we had in our drawer uh, this is an older knife um, but it's functional and I made a little sheath just out of duct tape and cardboard works really well uh, for cotton, I have a three foot by three foot piece of an old t-shirt. Uh, so we can use that for making char cloth. We could use it as a bandana. We could use it to wipe things up. Uh, use it as a wash rag. Use it as a bandage if we have to. Uh, I got these for free. Uh, just an old pair of pliers. These were in some tools someone was giving away on uh, Free Cycle a few years ago. So I picked those up. Uh, this cost me I think a 27 cents. This is a box cutter from Harbor Freight and I needed to buy something to get my free Harbor Freight flashlight Which is extraordinarily bright for being a three double three triple a flashlight, excuse me, and I did throw in some extra batteries here Up here, uh, this is an old Rubbermaid uh, Container we had I used to carry iced tea in this probably 15 years ago and I have a fire kit. This is just in a pill bottle. Vaseline cotton, a couple birthday candles, and a Bic lighter. Um, the other thing I spent money on besides the pan was this little uh, knockoff Swiss Army knife. This came from Dollar Tree, and, you know, it's a dollar knife. Uh, it does have an edge. Not a great edge, but it has an edge. Uh, it does have a can opener and a bottle opener corkscrew in case you find a bottle of wine in the woods and a little uh, Phillips head screwdriver uh, it's functional for a dollar it's not bad it's a good secondary blade over here we have a little tin I put together kind of like an Altoids tin this is a Newman's mince tin oh there's my other nail Okay, we have a couple little tiny nails. You can use these as an awl. You can use them to repair things, make fish hooks. A uh, few different size uh, paper clips. We have some birthday candles, safety pins, a razor blade, some uh, aluminum foil with some sewing needles and thread, a binder clip. You can use these for tarp clips. You can use them to keep things together in your pack. Uh, use them to clamp things down. Have a couple little sheets of note paper and part of a pencil. Uh, just some different wire. There's probably about 10 feet of wire here. Some electrical tape and duct tape. My free Harbor Freight flashlight and batteries. Um, little container full of petroleum jelly. Uh, repurposed lip balm container. A button compass I had laying around from another project. Over here we have the tin, which you can use to make char cloth in to help start your fires. I have a, an old film canister full of matches and a couple birthday candles cheapo lighter up here I have two 55 gallon industrial trash bags uh, these are 
like 55 gallon drum liners they're really strong pretty thick uh, I'm a big guy and I can get down in one of these and kind of hunker down and spend the night if I had to if it was raining real bad uh, you can use one for a ground cloth one for cover I have 30 feet of bank line 30 feet of plastic twine uh, free backpack that I got from a health fair just a little string backpack but it'll work fine to carry this stuff and over here I have some free band-aids that I got from a health fair so we have most everything um, most of the tensies we do have a little tiny compass we have candling uh, we have combustion we have cordage we have cover we have cargo tape we have it's not a canvas repair needle but we have needle and thread uh, we have cutting we have more cutting we have our containers we have some cotton so it's a basic bushcraft or survival kit and like I said this cost about two or three bucks total for everything on the table so I encourage you guys to check out this book the poor man's wilderness survival kit assembling your emergency gear for little or no money and make a kit of your own. It doesn't take a lot of money to be prepared. Have a good day, guys. God bless.